Is it all down to her own force of will? Is it all down to her no, putting herself no. over? I, I, like, have creative factor in a way that we... Would, yeah, they would have had to, because as we've seen before people like Zack Ryder, people who purely go out on their own and try and get themselves over and try and gain, get, get themselves a groundswell of popularity, that works to a degree, but ultimately, you know, Vince or the office are going to be pissed off that these people have gone out and done it without their say-so and without their fingerprints being all over it. There are some... Vince fingerprints on this there are some Triple H fingerprints on this she clearly went to them with an idea going listen I'm spinning my wheels at the minute how about we try this you let me go and run my mouth to a degree you can kind of point me in the direction what you want me to say and we'll see how that takes off and luckily for her it has I think it's funny actually back in the day that they pointed out that they absolutely hated her accent back in the day and now it's one of the big things that got her over mm. you know that Dublin accent just shines when you're spitting trash on a microphone, it, it's absolutely fantastic. My bog racks and just <laughs> can't compete when I'm running my mouth. But, but people still fear the big red wrecking ball. Let, what did she say in her own words? Let's have a look at the tweet that she put up after the WWE made the announcement that she will be the main eventer. And I think she basically said, I, I deserve it, is to paraphrase it. Um, an incredible graphic. Hard to believe that the biggest female star on the planet at the moment is Ronda Rousey uh, in terms of any kind of athletic pursuit. But Becky Lynch is in that match and is probably where all, Richie, you made the point, probably where all the eyeballs are on. She is yeah. the, the dominant persona in that match, which 18 months ago, two years ago, few could have believed that she would be the one we're all wanting to see in that. And especially given the fanfare that Rousey came in with just over a year ago, everybody would have presumed that she was going to run roughshod over the roster. And by the time WrestleMania comes around, she'd basically have a crowning achievement. She'd wander off into the sunset and do what she wants to do for a year and come back whenever she pleases then in a kind of Batista role. But she's been put in a happy place. Doug Allen is here on the back of that clip. How are you, Will? More known. How are things? So there's another off-the-ball wrestling special coming next Monday on the back of WrestleMania, and it's pretty exciting times from Becky Lynch's perspective. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, it's MetLife Stadium this coming Sunday, 82,500 capacity at the stadium. Uh, WWE have kind of filled it out before. We're always a little bit suspicious about their attendance figures. They have been known to inflate them in the past. But Becky Lynch in the first ever all-women's main event of WrestleMania for WrestleMania 36. And what's interesting in this one as well is that she's the first uh, foreign non Canadian or American to be in the main event of WrestleMania since Andre the Giant. So right. that maybe puts it into perspective how big a deal it is. Uh, she's going to be up against Ronda Rousey, who's the crossover star from MMA, and Charlotte Flair, the daughter of Ric Flair, uh, the former 18 time world champion. So it's a huge night for Becky Lynch, and she's come a long way up the industry in a pretty quick period of time. Like, just purely, I, I, I'd be very ignorant in the subject, but just scrolling through Instagram and following them all on Instagram, her shtick at the moment seems to be the fact that I've worked for this harder than my other two opponents. Is that true? Well, she's quite literally changed her t Twitter profile to The Man, mm. and that has been her character really for the last year or so. Uh, she was in a fairly aimless place, as you probably heard in the clip there, that she was uh, down the card, kind of going into last summer, uh, last WrestleMania, she was a long way away from the main event, and then, you know, remarkably, she's become the most popular star in WWE. Uh, they've changed their scope towards women's wrestling, that's probably key here as well. It's kind of far more of a recognition of the athletic ability of the women going into this, and you've got three wrestlers who probably would stand up against any of the male athletes that they have but from a purely character point of view Becky Lynch who's been running her mouth running rough shots through the entire roster in terms of the women she has become the top character and interestingly the top merchandise seller as well we have had Irish wrestlers at the top before uh, like Seamus who is a former WWE champion uh, even Finn Balor who was a universal champion a few years ago who trained Becky Lynch she has become probably more popular than they were when they were at the top of the ladder before. What's been the reason behind that attitude change? Is it like Stephanie McMahon's growing role? She was like, this is pretty bad how women are actually depicted in WWE and we're actually going to change it towards exactly what the UFC does with, with their women fighters as well. Yeah, I think Becky Lynch once one time was part of the so-called Four Horsewomen in NXT, which is their developmental brand. Right. And they took wrestling a bit more serious for the women through NXT. Those four came up together to big success. And herself and Charlotte Flair have had this kind of interesting dynamic where they've been friends and sometimes rivals. And last year, they started kind of the acorns of they're the seed really going into this WrestleMania where there was a dispute between Becky Lynch and Charlotte where Charlotte was getting the chances that Becky wasn't. And that's the story they're trying to tell going into this. Um, as things have changed, even since we recorded that podcast, the two women's belts for either brand, Raw and SmackDown, which people might be familiar with, are now both on the line as of last night for this main event as well. Ronda Rousey carries in the Raw title, Charlotte Flair carrying in the SmackDown title, and Becky Lynch, as many people will expect this weekend, will win both because you usually get a happy ending in WrestleMania. Yeah.
Uh, you've been to WrestleMania 2002? I uh, went to WrestleMania 18, yeah, it was uh, The Rock and Hulk Hogan, ah. uh, which was not the main event, but it probably upstaged a pretty poor main event between Chris Jericho and Triple H. It was around the time that Triple H was the dominant guy after his comeback, but Rock Hogan was in absolutely incredible. It was in uh, Sky Dome Toronto. That's a pretty pretty great show. Like, Is that up there in terms of the best sporting events you've been to? Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people who are watching us at the moment. They're probably saying this is not a sporting event. You have to use you know inverted commas when you say sporting event. but. Um, in terms of atmosphere, in terms of enjoyment, I was a big fan of the product back then. It was just off the back of the Attitude Era, where anyone who's growing up at that age is probably thinking, hey, you know, I'm really big into this. And then I definitely drifted away from the sport for a long time. And then maybe just the emergence of some of the Irish talents like Seamus Finn Balor, now Becky Lynch, has got me back into wrestling again. And while WrestleMania X8 mightn't be remembered as the best WrestleMania, it had to follow the best ever the year before. Was that the hell in itself? Um, no, it wasn't Hell in a Cell. No, X7 was The Rock against Austin. Right. The wrestling has probably never been any hotter than it was. It was the first wrestling pay-per-view to ever sell more than a million pay-per-view buys, which maybe puts things into context to how popular it was then. It's nowhere near as popular now, but Becky Lynch is the big star in the industry currently. Yeah, for sure. So you can head on over to youtube.com forward slash off the ball if you want more of that. Just